What's up, everybody? Matt Modai here with DGF Fantasy, here to give you a three-pick entry on underdog fantasy while also talking through the differences between prize picks and underdog. Uh, one of the biggest differences between the two is the optimal entries to play. As you can see on the screen here, I am playing a three-pick entry on underdog. That is one of the more uh, valuable uh, number of legs in an entry that you can have specifically on Underdog Fantasy is three picks non-insured. Now, when it comes to prize picks, you never wanna be playing three pick entries. The reason why, it's all about the payout. The implied odds per individual leg of Underdog Fantasy is down at minus 122, whereas if you go to prize picks, and the cool thing about this is the DGF optimizer or the D, excuse me, DGF fantasy DFS optimizer. It tells you what the implied odds are for each number of legs in an entry. So we can see here, price picks three pick is minus 140, 40 as a flex minus 140 as a power. That's not good. But when it comes to underdog, we remember that the payout was minus 122. So three pick entries are good to place on underdog and they are not good to place on prize picks. So that's just something to keep in mind when you're debating between the two platforms. Obviously their lines might be different as well, but the strategy is also going to be different depending on what platform you are using. So three picks, good to go on underdog, three picks, not good to go on prize picks and stuff like that is important to understand. So for this individual entry, we're going to have obviously a three pick entry going to have a couple MLB and, and some WNBA as well. Our first leg, and this is going to be very scary, is Shohei Otani, and we see him under player name. The stat, we're taking his fantasy score, and we're taking him to go under 10 and a half. So when you're using the DFS optimizer on Daily Grind Fantasy, it's pretty easy to understand what the actual plays are, right? Player name, stat, over, under, and then the uh, underdog line. In this case, as I mentioned, as I mentioned, Otani under 10 and a half fantasy score. So the reason why this is a play is because we know that the implied odds that underdog is giving us is at minus 122. Well, DraftKings prices this at minus 144. So the implied odds per DraftKings minus 144, giving this a winning percentage of just below 60%. That's pretty good, right? We're, we're getting a payout that equates to minus 122 odds but this really should be priced at minus 144 according to DraftKings and also according to the DGF Fantasy um, when they calculate their own lines as well. If you remember, prize picks has the implied odds of like minus 140. So this would not be a positive EV play on prize picks, but it is on underdog, which is another example of why underdog, the three pick is better, specifically on underdog and why there are the differences. So this is our first leg next up another MLB one, another fantasy score one. This time we're taking Jaron Duran to go over eight and a half of uh, eight and a half fantasy points. This is very similar. DraftKings prices this at minus 137. That uh, converts to a winning percentage of 57.85%. So both of our top two plays, 57.85%, 59% winning percentage. That's really, really good. And obviously the cool part about underdog is you could literally take the over or the under and the payout is going to be the exact same. But if the side we're taking is going to win 60% of the time, it doesn't really make sense. Obviously, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense at all to play the over for Otani or the under for Duran because it's a 40% or 43% winning percentage. And we're not, we're not getting any extra juice. We're not paying plus money odds, anything like that for taking a play that's less likely to hit. So it doesn't make sense in doing so. It's also part of the strategy with these DFS companies. It's just finding plays that are likely to hit. And then our last pick of the evening, a WNBA play, Marina Mabry of the Chicago Sky to go under four assists. Um, so DGF calculates the winning percentage of this to be at 55.62% and the odds on that at minus 143. So this one's interesting. This is an example of a line discrepancy. So underdog prices this at four and the sports books price this at four and a half. So we're still taking an under, even though the sports books price it above the number that we're taking. The reason why is because of how heavily the sports books favor the under, right? FanDuel prices her under four and a half assists at minus 200. 
they're so heavily favoring her going under four and a half that there is still value on her going under four assists when you get the implied odds on underdog at minus 122, right? This is going to hit just above 55% of the time. This uh, VGF calculates the odds on this to be minus 143. Because of that, there is some value to taking it on underdog. So it's kind of interesting. You'll see different examples of a line discrepancy. It's not always going to be a pricing or an odds discrepancy. But in this case, again, we're taking under four. And even though the sports books price it above a half assist above at four and a half, they're so heavily favoring it going under that number that there is still value on the under four as well. And that's pretty much it. So the three plays that we're locking in here, Otani to go under 10 and a half fantasy points, Duran to go over eight and a half fantasy points and Marina Mabry to go under four assists. And that's also the difference between underdog and prize picks and that underdog three picks is good. Prize picks is not. And because of that, if you only have three good plays on prize picks, it's not really worth playing an entry. It is on underdog. So the differences between the two are very important, but that's all I got. So if you're riding with me on this underdog slip, comment and let me know. If you have any questions about the prize picks versus underdog strategy, comment and let me know as well. Other than that, remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank you guys for watching and have a good one.